What is winter on the Costa Blanca South all about? Let's find out! I love it. <laughs> Never go back, this is home. People come here because it's their dream. And this dream they can afford. There are a lot of foreigners here. They like a healthy alternative. We have 21 TVs in the premises, 21 even inside the toilet. We like everything. <laughs> you can go to concerts, exhibitions. There's many new activities now. We have something very, very special. It's our climate. It's quiet and relaxed. Welcome to the Costa Blanca South in winter time. Costa Blanca South spreads between Alicante and Orihuela Costa. We will talk to several businesses there and we will also visit Torre Vieja and Elche. Orihuela Costa is a coastal part of Orihuela. Orihuela lies 20 kilometers inland. The coast is actually south of Torre Vieja and lies between Murcia and Alicante Airport. Villa Martin Plaza. Why is this place important in Orihuela Costa? Well, back in uh, the original beginning, in the, I guess you'd say the 60s, when uh, one man bought this entire area, this was his inception of the whole thing, his concept and dream. And he built the golf course, uh, which we set on in 1972, and then started building this plaza in the early 80s. It was the very first point in the Royal Costa. Huh. Yeah, uh, more so than anyone. Uh, and today, what have we got here? Well, it's evolved tremendously over the years because uh, it originally was not intended to be what it is. Originally, it was solely an apart hotel with the top floor a few boutiques and shops, and the ground floor was all garages. Uh, as monetary things go, he saw that he could sell things and started selling commercials off. Uh, over the years, it's had its good days, bad days. It's now come up again. We're doing loads to it uh, and making it a focal point for the uh, entire area, which it is for the Orwella Costa. There are lots of events being organized here, aren't they? Yes, we do. Uh, throughout the summer, we do live music three nights a week. Apart from some local acts, we bring entertainment from all over Europe, uh, England, and some big acts, uh, big superstar acts. What can make me feel We've had the Foundations, Hollies, uh, Ray Lewis from the Drifters, Andy Abrahams, uh, Rob Falsini, all, all sorts of big acts. Um, then we do massive charity days here, which brings in tremendous amounts of money. Uh, we hit our record last Sunday uh, of 10,000 euros on the day. Well, we have 40 bars, restaurants here, it's quite vast. Yeah, it's, it, it's in total, there's 61 businesses on the plaza, uh, but there's about 40 bars and restaurants in total. And then other businesses I see on the plaza? Oh, real estate, dentist, hairdressers, a bit of everything. Insurance, it's what you call a mixed community. It's got 140 apartments above the commercials. And this is all year long apartments? All year. Yeah, they're all owned individually. You yourself are from Texas? I'm from Texas. <laughs> Born and bred in Houston. What brought you down here? Uh, well, originally I went to England for 16 years and I've been now in Spain for 14. You love it? I love it. <laughs> Never go back, this is home. What do you like particularly about uh, Orihuela Costa? Well, many places I've been to uh, along the Costa Blanca, when you leave them, uh, there is nothing. You might have housing additions, etc., but no place to stop, enjoy the scenery, have a coffee. Uh, here, for 30 kilometers, you can drive either way, and you've got something to do. Everywhere you see, you can stop, have a coffee. If you want Spain, drive 15 minutes inland, and you have that also. Uh, so it, it has everything you want. Amazing blue flag beaches, food to die for, sun. All the time. <laughs> everything you want. I mean, it's November and look at us. 
even in Christmas and New Year's Eve, we can sit out here because the weather's so nice and warm. Casey, we visited here in November. Yes. Now this is beautiful February weather. It's <laughs> not a lot different. It, it's our winter sun. Okay, and what, what have you got here in the Villa Martin Plaza in winter time? Well, I mean, in the winter we try to bring in different things that brings families out and, you know, things like the winter fair that we've started. People think that maybe Costa Blanca South or Costa Blanca in general in winter time is a little dead. But no, so. not by all means. Us locals enjoy it because it's not as busy. We can enjoy the, the peacefulness of walking on a beach without all the tourists. Do you really have seasons here in Spain? Fortunately, we do. Oh? oh we, we do. We've got, you know, our summer, which everyone thinks Spain's like all year round, but it's not. We've still got spring and fall uh, and our winter, which is normally part of January, February, and March, where, you know, you get to put on a light jumper. One thing I notice is that when I'm going out in winter time, like in February now, I have to have a little t-shirt under because summer can just come. Exactly. <laughs> Olaf's restaurant, what do we have here? What specialities do you offer? We are the one and only German restaurant in this area. So it's very interesting to realize when many of British, Irish, Scandinavian people try our food and they come back again because they say it always it's delicious, it's tasty. That's what we like to do. So German cuisine, what kind of food? Yeah, we, not only German, but of course we are German, so we serve schnitzel, different kinds of schnitzel from pork or chicken. And we serve also steaks or mixed grill. Our, one of our favorites is the mixed grill from meat or from fish and goulash. Mm -hmm. People like our tasty goulash mm -hmm. with dumplings, red cabbage or sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. That's our favorites. You are in Villa Martin Plaza. Why yeah. did you choose this place? I like this place. I was in another place before that was very quiet and this place is very very nice. A lot of people passing by. Why did you choose this particular part of the world to live and to work? My sister lives here since 18-19 years. I came every year for holiday to visit her and I always said I would like to live here too. And one day in December 2006 she called me and said, Olaf, there's a bar for sale you want? And I said, yes. <laughs> That's why I moved to Spain. Okay. So you're not planning to go back to Germany? No. <laughs> First years I was not sure, but now I think I will stay here. This is your home? This is my new home, yeah. Mediterranean houses. Rosa, you are the owner. Yes. This is your son, yes. Luis. Robert, you are the agent here. So tell us a little bit about the history of this place. I understand you started. I started uh, 25 years ago on my own. We are specialists in resellers in this area mostly. We also sell new properties. We speak a lot of languages. Well, we have we have different agents with different nationalities. When you want to buy, you want to speak with somebody who understands you, yeah. and then. I think somebody who comes from the same country than you will understand your rules, your laws, and he will know the difference. I work with the Scandinavian market, mainly Norwegians and Swedish, and there's a lot of them in this area. Most important thing for the south of uh, Costa Blanca is the climate and the prices. Mm -hmm. Even though it's uh, the Costa Blanca north is not far away, the climate is different. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's less rain in the south of Costa Blanca than in the north because it's in the mountains mm -hmm. and the prices are considerably okay. low. So tell me what is the price range here? For the Scandinavian markets, uh, we, we sell, let, let's say, uh, from 70,000 euros and up to three, four hundred. But you can get here in this area two bedrooms from 70, 80, 90,000 without a problem. Yes. That's sec second hand is that. Actually much better to buy second hand uh -huh. and refurbish it uh -huh. instead of buying a new house. We are in 
Mariola Costa. Mm -hmm. It's quite vast. But you've got Torrevieja, a city city, just next door. Yes. How is that? We are in a really good area because it's a residential area. Mm -hmm. If you need to go to the city, you just have to take the car two minutes. You are in a city because you have all the amenities. You have town hall, uh, administration, theater, theater um, good restaurants. Good restaurants. Yes, yeah. everything. You can find everything. everything. Okay. Being one of the most important things of this area is the energy. The, is the energy of the people that you, that you can feel it. Everybody say hello to everybody. You can see cars stopping and allowing the dogs go across the, the, the road. You know, it's something really important because in different, if you compare that with a big city or with a villa, you don't have that. You know, in the flats, people doesn't know mm. each other. You don't know the neighbor of downstairs. What in this area is crazy. Everybody knows everybody, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How is the summer? How is the winter time? Yeah. Most of the clients I sell to, they spend the winter here and they're not here in the summer. That will be their children or grandchildren who was coming over to, for the vacations. It's lively all year round, even though it's, it's not the same winter and summer. Summer is a lot of people, but it's still very lively also in winter. You can see people, are, uh, all the shops are open, all the restaurants are open, and there are people here every day, all year round. focus is to take the client till the end. A lot of clients become our friends because they are our neighbors. We live in the area. We live where we sell. Then plumbers, electricians, they come back for everything at the end just to make a copy of keys. They come here to ask us. You are the community connector. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think this is we a good point. From yeah. the beginning yeah. till the end. It could be 20 years after. Really. Yeah. We had property that we had sold the property three times. People come here because it's their dream. And this dream they can afford. That's it. Iris, tell me about your parapharmacia. The, the parapharmacy, uh, the difference with the pharmacy, is without drugs. Uh, I haven't got a medication chemical only have natural medication but no it's exactly a health shop it's more with the health shop in health shop no have cosmetic products or, um, or orthopedics products here you have everything products for care inside and outside but without chemical products mm -hmm. the pharmacy is very similar from here but i check the blood pressure i check the sugar The people come here when the normal medication with the traditional medication no work. I think so it's very important checking everything, checking the food, checking the emotional means. Uh, for that I have different alternatives. I have the supplement, I have the keto massage or different types of massage. I have osteopath, yoga class, pilates, acupuncture. There are a lot of foreigners here. They like a healthy alternative. Great meats, great pastries. Tell us about Stone Grill. Yes, uh, the Stone Grill offers the best meat uh, on the wall, which is the Argentinian Black Angus which you can uh, cook at your perfection. You can sear on both sides and uh, it's uh, all, trap all the flavors on it and all the juices. It comes in a hot stone, so it stays warm all the time, all the way through. You also yes. have a bar here? Yeah, we have a bar, so people can have drinks beforehand or, or after, or just coming for drinks. We do fresh cocktails and, and we have a range of different gins and brandies. In the daytime, we have a bistro bakery. We offer uh, lots of homemade cakes. Yeah, we love the area because uh, it has a lot of things to do. It's nice weather. A uh, lot of different nationalities, uh, which is lovely. Uh, it's quiet and relaxed. Uh, you can play golf, you can go to the beach, you can go shopping. And eat the best meat here, of course. Exactly. <laughs> We 
here in a lovely pub, Irish pub yeah. in Kaboroik. Tell me all about it, please. It's a family business, it's a friendly pub. We just try to make the customer feel like part of the family when they come in here. We always greet them with a handshake, maybe a hug. So it's a, this is a little island in, uh, in Kaboroik. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A, a, li a little better island, better <laughs> island. You've got all sorts of, what is it, ales? Uh, well, that's, that's a stout, that's what that is, that's Guinness Irish, then the bears and we have ales as well, John Smith's and Kilkenny as well, yeah. Whiskies? Um, the popular one would be Jameson, because it's Irish. <laughs> uh, we have all types of gins, all types of vodkas. We have a good, a good selection. We always give out free shots. We have people from all over Europe come in and it's the same feedback every time. They're happy, they enjoy the place and look, you're not going to come back to a place if people aren't nice. We have 21 TVs in the premises, 21 even inside the toilets, <laughs> so you don't miss any action. We show all kinds of sport, football, hurling, GA, rugby, everything you want. And we have live music every night of the week, even in the winter time when it quietens down. We have every night, every night. And why did you choose Orihua La Costa to be your home? Well, my mother and father have a house here the last 18 years. So we've been coming out on holidays and all that. And he always said he wanted to come out here. So why not? Why not? It's a good move. Torrevieja lies in the Costa Blanca South between Alicante and Murcia airports. Tell me what is Nautilus restaurant? Nautilus restaurant is a beautiful uh, restaurant by the Punta Prima Beach. It's in the border between Torre Vieja and uh, Orihuela Costa. We offer uh, fresh fish, meat and uh, delicious dessert. Adriana, ANG Lawyers, what is it that you do here? We are a law firm located in the center of Torre Vieja. We offer the clients the widest range of legal services. Ben specialized on this, on conveyancy and property law. From conveyancy to litigation and any other kind of legal services, this client can be confident that they will receive a professional, friendly and efficient service in their own language and at a very affordable price. Our first consultation is always free. What is it that you like about this town? We like everything. <laughs> <laughs> we like the sun, we like the people, we like the business. It's a very good town for business. A lot of international people living here and in surrounding areas as well. Orihuela Costa and Quesada, for that reason, we have an office as well there. We open in a small office in Quesada and we are opening in a small office as well in Orihuela to offer the clients with the same services on the coast. Nicole, tell me about your business. The Spa Superstore business has been going since 1976. Our main office is in Torre Vieja and we have a small shop in Ciudad Quesada. Our main business is the spa business. After the spa business, obviously we have the spa accessories. We also do heat pumps, covers, automatic covers, big telescopic covers for swimming pools. So we do everything that's re really related with anything to do with water and hydrotherapy. We have a very, very nice selection of spas from different price ranges. We have a MyLine collection, which starts at 4995, which is something like this, which is completely installed. This is our Rolls Royce. Um, this would be 22,000, completely installed. 
International clients is our main market, approximately taking about 80% of, uh, mm -hmm. of our market is international clients. And you speak English? German, Spanish of course, French also is uh, part of our, uh, one of the languages that we do speak. Why would people think about moving down to this area? We have something very, very special. It's our climate. The services that we have here in the area, we have beaches, we have big commercial centers. The south part of the Costa Blanca from sort of Ciudad Casada and a little bit further south, Torre Vieja, Orihuela Costa is a very flat area and it's great for people who are getting on a little bit in age. We are, after 41 years, we're still there being number one on the Costa Blanca. So it's very important to us that we are always checking on what's out on the market and also growing in ourselves and keeping updated with all the new information technology that's on the market today. Elche has a population of over 230,000 inhabitants. It lies between Costa Blanca North and Costa Blanca South. Elche is a beautiful city famous for its palms and the archaeological remains. Like all towns, Elche has many fiestas. The international airport, which tourists often refer to as Alicante Airport, is in fact situated in Elche. Alicante is the capital of the province of Alicante. It is also a historic Mediterranean port. With a population of over 330,000, it's the second largest Valencian city. Let's hear more about the town from one of the city's great residents, culture lover and a musician, Pepe Bornai. How is Alicante for you different in winter time than summer? Do you feel the difference as a person that lives here? Yes, and even the visitors are different. Yeah, it's a different kind of, of tourism. Tell me. Yeah, like more cultural. When you think about uh, Alicante and Costa Blanca, you mainly think about beach, good sun, holidays like that. But you can find nice buildings, the ambience, a rich cultural life. You can go to concerts, exhibitions, there's many new activities now. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Oh, well, we have a music school here okay. in the city. Right. And then, you know, playing groups, jazz groups, so mainly. You teach adults and children or? Yeah. So on every corner we've got something interesting in Alicante. What have we got here? You have the castle, then you have a very nice church built on, on a medieval mm -hmm. stratus, and then you have the contemporary art museum. Right. You know the Camino de Santiago, mm -hmm. it's from here okay. in Alicante, yeah, one of the roads. The old style tapas, restaurants, Spanish food and all that. And then you, you can find very nice new restaurants, design, new cuisine. Which are, which are becoming quite famous. Most. So you can see how nice is the winter weather here. And this is the Rambla, you said? This is the Rambla. The Rambla is an old riverbed? Or? Yeah, oh. it's an old riverbed. With, when, when it comes to rain, all the water goes to the, to the sea. Okay. It's very typical, La Rambla de Barcelona. Okay. You can see all over Spain. It's like a kind of a symbol of the city, this pavement. And it's, a, it's taken from a, from a beach, from another promenade in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Okay. It's a curiosity. Beautiful. You're involved into the music scene of Alicante, of course. Yeah. Concerts, that, festivals. Yeah, the thing. Cinema festival. Okay. Which we have a section which is music for the música para la imagen. Uh -huh. This is music for the image. And then we make the jazz festival. The city lives 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, it's a coast city. Yeah. So, and with this weather, what do you want? Let's see. Fantastic. Yeah. Very good. 
We hope you enjoyed the film and to find out more about other towns and the people of the Costa Blanca, tune into our website at apnocostablanca.com. Stop.